Molin Ryber is the author and illustrator of The Girl with the Flying Shuttle, published by Eurobox. She was born in 1993 in Stockholm, Sweden. Growing up, she launched for female wisdom. Her family being majority men, she turned to fictional characters for a sense of female community. As the world of magic opened up for her, she began early to use her imagination as a tool to tell stories that mattered. We invited her to this new episode of Conoscere TV to get to know her and her book. Hi, Malin, welcome and thank you for accepting this invitation. Hi, thank you so much for inviting me. So I would start by introducing the book. What is The Girl with the Flying Shuttle about, please? So this book is, uh, I think, it started as a personal endeavor, um, but later it became much bigger than that. Um, but I, it started with me digging into my childhood memories um, and thinking about what shaped me as a woman. Um, and when I realized a lot of my role models came from these fictional characters, these Disney figures and other figures that um, I grew up with, um, I realized looking at them now, they, they had all these uh, personalities that, that I didn't really resonate with uh, as a grown-up woman. Um, for example, The Little Mermaid was one of my favorites. And looking at her now, she, <laughs> she has to sacrifice her voice to find a man, for example. <laughs> and so I thought I wanted to create my own uh, character. Uh, someone who would be a positive reinforcement for the future generation and who I would like to see. Um, and so that's where it began. Um, and from there on, I, I uh, got very inspired by um, the women in my family. So I got um, constantly um, kind of trying to balance the world of fiction and reality. So I was talking a lot with the women in my family to see what also shaped them. And that's how it be kind of became bigger and not just about me. Um, so the book is about these nine women living in a kind of utopia, um, sort of a world that I would like to see <laughs> where I didn't hold back on the magic wand that I used. <laughs> so um, it's um, a tree house where they uh, live and they all have to collaborate in order for this world to function. So um, let's, yeah. let's stay there. I mean, girls and women empowerment, we can say this is the main and central theme in your book. But why is this relevant to you? I mean, why do you think it is so important to teach and talk about it to very young people? I think uh, because in, when we are younger, the information that we get, um, it's difficult to have this analytical role uh, as a young kid. You take in the information you get. So I, I think the world of, uh, children books is very important because we as grown-ups really have a responsibility to communicate um, the right message. So the morals behind is in line with the good values and, and uh, uh, shaping for a good future where equality is, uh, is present and, and yeah, all these things that I care about, uh, I, I try to show through um, a play, in a playful way. And I, that's why I think it's, yeah, important. So in conclusion, what is the message that you would like to transmit through your book? The message is to, to really 
rely on each other as, especially in this case, women, to not be against each other and um, compare, because that is often something very easy to do, but really that we have to work together in order for something to, to work, that we are stronger as a force together. Well, Malin, the book is precious, and we want to wish you best luck with it. Thank you again for your time today. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is a children's book written as a tale for the empowerment of girls and women, an alternative to the myth of the hyper-individual hero. The future will be challenging, but if we work together, there is some hope to figure it out. The Girl with the Flying Shuttle, written by Malin Ryber, is now available in bookstores and digital platforms. It's a publication by Eurobox.